Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Prepping Adventures video. Today is Saturday, the 12th of October, 2019. Saturday morning, just gone 10 o'clock. We're at Holford on the Quantox. This is an autumn, rainy day hike up onto the Quantox. So, uh, thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll be on our way. And we just walk along this past a few houses and then it becomes up into the woods going through if I can read it on the map Hodder's Coombe it's a wooded area and that will take us up onto the uh, top of the Quantox up onto the moors as you can see it is a rainy day. Rain has been forecast for the day. Um, it has stopped at the moment. But showers will be throughout the day. We'll be cooking lunch. Got the cook set with, cook set with me. Off we go. As you can see, the uh, path is going to be muddy. We've had rain all week. But for the past couple of weeks, it's really rained every day. All around are the signs of autumn. Ferns and the bracken are starting to change colour. Leaves on the trees are starting to change. Can't see it very well there, but that's what's known as the round house. And uh, we go through here. Ryan's with me today. Is it right? Over here, with the remains of some old quarry. But the house is all gone now. We're now into the woods. In the path, it's almost like a stream walking along it.
So we did a little recon up here a couple of weeks ago. We didn't go very far. One of the things we spotted was over here. A tire swing, which Ryan was hoping to go on today. The problem is, we're on this side of the stream, and that's on the other side. And that stream's running pretty uh, deep and fast at the moment. Hundreds and hundreds of toadstools. Well, this is a lovely place, even on a damp autumn day. Rain's holding off so far. It's over half an hour into this walk at the moment. Sided valley at the moment. High sides, both sides. The stream going up the middle. The wine's starting to get a bit hot, so he's, uh, he's going to take his fleece off. I can eat these boots a waterproof. Mine's are definitely waterproof, he's wearing wellies. I don't, know, I don't know what the exact temperature is, but I'm certainly feeling warm right now. Path splits here. That way, or that way. We won't be going that way. We head this way. It takes us up on, well, both take, both take you up onto the moors, but the bit we want to go to is that way. Big Knoll Post is where we're heading for. So, uh, on we go. Right, it's getting a bit hot at the moment. So I'm going to take my fleece off, I think. Well, I've got the backpack off. These seat belt, car seat belt pads I've put on here. Doing a good job, they made a hell of a difference. One on each strap. And some on the back. Certainly cushion these straps out nice. Alright, let's get the backpack on and carry on.
Well, through the stream again. Here comes Ryan. Well, we're uh, about an hour in. I've brought the old uh, sat map with me that records our trip. 1.62 miles if it's picking it up. I don't know if it is or not. And we're uh, just heading up to the place, Ladies Edge. So it's uh, going to start the uh, walking uphill. From this point on, it's going to get pretty steep. A bit further on, and the trees will start giving way soon to the moorland. I never just rely on the old uh, GPS. I also bought a map with me. Um, and this bit is open onto the right section for the walk we're doing today. As you can see, my backpack has the waterproof cover on it today. Um, We've got some, some of the camera gear and that in there. But so far, it hasn't been needed. Well, we're just coming out from the cover of the woods and I'm about to lose that cover. If it rained while we were back there, we would have got a little bit of shelter from the trees. But, uh, our shelter was about to diminish now. And the landscape around us is about to change. And we've got a steep climb ahead of us. You can see everything is uh, is wet. Footpaths wet and muddy. Everything around us is uh, drenched. We just come across this tree on it slows and uh, see the last moraines remains rather of blackberries there's nothing there worth having I can get the camera on it slows are good for uh, making slow gin at Christmas time a bit too sour on that to eat as they are straight off a tree. Well, 
Well, that's the way we came. This is the way we're going. And we just had some sloves. Now it's crab apples. Good for setting jellies. Too sour to eat. And these ones don't look like they're in the best of condition now anyway. Right, let's get on. We're here. The path has actually become the stream. We're probably not far away from where the, uh, the stream starts as a spring. And the sun is actually trying to come through at the moment. That was tough going, but we're at the top now. And that should be right there. Big no post. If I'm right, it'll be written on it if it is. Let's go and have a look and see. Yes, it is. Big knoll post. There we are. Quarter to twelve. Just stopping for a quick snack, just back of the crisps. Let that move out. There's Big Nola post, Big Nola post. So I'm just going to stop, back of the crisps, something to drink and then move on and then um, we'll be sorting out getting some uh, lunch cooked up well, I brought the telescope out with me today and according to the old weather station we got I don't know if zoom in it uh, supposed to be raining rain on the way got a few people up here a lot of mountain bikers, other hikers, people on horses. Right, so we're just gonna pack up here, move on, find somewhere for lunch now. Right, we're just going around in a 
circle back to the car park now. So there's Bicknell Post. We head this way. Just down there in the distance is where we come up from. And in the uh, sort of valley down there. Up here is quite tricky to navigate because there's a lot of paths. There's paths going off in all sorts of directions. Some of them are a proper paths, some of them are just not even paths at all. It's easy to just take a wrong, head off the, along the wrong path. So that's where we're at. Using the map comes in. Puddles up here. That's the Bristol Channel. I'll try and zoom in. That's a steep home the island there. Uh, over in the distance is Breen Down, where we walked out to the fort. We're going over in that way. Just sort of looping around. This path up here is extremely uh, wet, boggy. The ground is absolutely saturated. Fortunately, these boots are waterproof. I can't put any water in them. And then we socks yet, yeah. so they're looking good. It's coming along this part here. All the heather's been burnt. Here earlier in the year, back in springtime. And that's a uh, part of the management of the, of the moors where they set fire to parts of it to keep the land in check. That's right, rocky here. It's been muddy bits, but. Uh, Rocky. And in the distance. Hinkley Point Nuclear Power Station. A new one being built. Get up across that the Bristol Channel over there. That's Wales. You can pretty see it because um, it's a little bit of mist about. The camera's not picking it up very well. Anyway, we follow this path along here. Should we uh, take us back into a wooded area, and then we'll be stopping our site to eat. There's a wooded bit there. We're going to go in there and cook some lunch in a minute. We just came from over there. There's a post here telling me that it's a staple plain, West Quantock Head, that direction. And on this post, they've gone there, would have been the uh, paddles when you want to put out a fire. I'm guessing they took them away now because it's now uh, autumn, winter, and it ain't going to be dry.
Quantox as an area of outstanding natural beauty. Look at the size of these beech trees. Well, we're going to head in this way find someone for lunch, so it's through this gate. We've stopped for lunch. Time right now, it's up at ten past one. The old sausage is on. And just above me, we just got a little tarp up. Just in case it rains, we're in the uh, in the woods here. Sausage is on, lunch is on. Let's just cook that. Up. Got the gas stove today, just so it's more convenient. Having a couple of snacks while we um, while we wait for the sausages to cook. Just where we're uh, cooking our lunch up in a tree here. Is a uh, squirrel's dray. There are a lot of deer around here, but we haven't seen any yet. Well, lunch is served. Two hot dogs. So, lunch is served. Mm, that's very nice. So we're just going to finish off our lunch and we'll bring you back in a minute when we clear up and uh, finish off our walk. Just having a way for now. So um have a break, have a trip to the woods. We're just clearing up. I took the full cook, cook kit with me today, which is all stored in this bag, which is, uh, I believe, a French Army gas mask bag. Never got issued, never got used. It's perfect, everything fits in there nice. So we're just clearing up now before we move on. Right, 
was just going to clear the tarp down. We put it up with bungees. It turned out we never really needed it because it never did rain. But never, never mind, you never know. Better safe. Only a very small one, just enough to shut underneath while we did some cooking. Should the need arise. So we're nearly cleared up. And we're moving on. Just going up for five to two now. There's the squirrel's dry again. Right, well everything's packed away. LNT, leave no trace. And we just head back up this way, back up to the path. And uh, carry on our way. Back at the gate, we went down that path for lunch and we carry on down that way. I think we've now got chestnuts. In fact, they are. Almost looks big enough to be a conker, but it's not. Chestnuts. Loads of them round here. Christmas time, people will be going in the shops and paying for them. And just picking them off the ground, and I think. Yeah, I can look at the trees and see it's uh, chestnuts. Well, the rain held off. We're uh, getting closer and closer to the car now. That's where we were on the way out, on the way in, down in that um valley down there all those trees are. Path heads down here.
We can tell we're getting closer to the car because that house there is the round house which was near the start of the walk. Well, this poor old tree broke off from there. You certainly wouldn't want to have been camping there when that happened. Some form of remains of an old barn or house or something. And there's the other side of what it was, it wasn't a house. An ancient dog pound. That's what it was. I'll zoom in on that a bit better. There you go. So we're on the road, which leads back to the car park. By the time we get back to the car, we will have done about five and a half miles. Well, car park's just come into sight. You can see the car. There's the car park. There's the car. So uh, this is the bit where I say thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.